Hi, I'm Fan, FF7Fan321, and this is a Trophy Adventures Let's Play. More of the Crash and Sane Trilogy. And we're back with part two. Now, the first thing is, this guy's name is Polar. And... Ah, damn it, Cortex. <laughs> I see that Ripper Roo failed to prove much of a challenge yet again. But back to business. There are crystals to be gathered. Twenty to be exact. The planets will align shortly, all thirteen of them. And this will create a power great enough to rip the Earth apart. Properly utilized, however, the crystals can absorb and contain the energy. Crash, is that you? I've been looking everywhere. I don't have much time to tell you this. You have to be careful. Trusting Cortex seems a little unwise, Crash. I can't keep the data path open much longer. Crash, you need to find... Okay, as I was saying... This guy's name is Polar. Now I'm going to jump on his head 10 times. In the original, that gave you 10 lives. Let's see if it works. Hashtag animal abuse. And holy shit, it worked. Well, actually, I already knew it worked because, like I said, my recording software crashed. But that would actually give you a trophy as well. What's this? Oh yeah, Coco. Uh, add to... Adventure, and we're gonna play as Coco because Coco is fucking awesome. And Snowbiz is the first level. The uh, hint actually said um, unlock that path by getting the red gem, which we will be getting this episode because, as you recall, it was in Snowbell. We won't be getting it on this level though. You actually don't have to do this level yet. I just wanted to do them in order. getting Wumpa Fruit by killing multiple enemies at once. Checkpoint, and these spiny bitches suck. I think they have killed me more than anything in this entire game so far. Or will kill me, I guess. Anyway, there's the red gem pad. back up this. Yep. Maximum gains. That's actually gonna get dropped this episode mostly because some of these levels are a pain in the ass. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. <laughs> You, you really shouldn't try to go under these unless you're on ice. Just make them fall first. I got really lucky there. And there's three hidden boxes back here, I think. Three? Three? Yeah, three. See? On ice. Easy. Another fall to bonus level. Gotta come back for that one anyways. See, it's spots like this that maximum gains is really hard to do. I mean, yeah, I could have gained like two extra Wumpa Fruit, but I mean, 78 is still a pretty good amount. There's, there's, there's a level like this at the end there, where if you jump, you get a free life. I don't remember which one it is, though. No clue. Grab the crystal. 
almost to the end of this level. Oh man, a mighty one half of the crates. Terrible. I don't even get a dance. And air crash. This level has the hidden warp room. And actually introduces death pads. Or rather, no death pads. There are certain areas of the level that you can only access if you don't die. Super Saiyan Coco! Yay! And again, it isn't gonna last for as long as it could. Unfortunate. Now, this platform here is the hidden warp room. You have to jump to it without... You have to jump to it off the crates in the water. This level, you actually have to do three times. You have to do it once to get the death gem, the no death gem, which is a secret, which is an extra area. You have to do it once to get to the secret warp room, at least it's not very far in. And you have to do it once with a secret warp room of its own in order to get all of the crates. Damn it. I did that on my first playthrough too. Same damn jump. Why? Why did I think I could make it? At least, even though I did lose my masks, at least I don't lose the, uh, it doesn't count as a death. Okay, land here first, then go. <laughs> Man, I remember this damn crate in the original game. I died so many times trying to get to it. Hey, there's the uh, no death pad. Well, since the level ends, I'm gonna come up here and grab free life and some extra fruit. Now, if you die when you've taken the pad, you can take it again. It doesn't count. It, it, it doesn't disappear after that. And just so you know, these levels are usually fairly difficult. This spot's tricksy. If you jump and jump immediately, you won't land on the second one. You gotta wait a second, jump, and then jump. Right here, too. If you just go straight, you will hit that nitro on the left. Gotta just slowly... Nailed it. And there's the no death pad gem. And for the first time, we get to see Coco's awesome dance. Way better than crashes. Back into air crash. Now, as I said before, you can't actually get all of the crates in this level without a secret warp room that's coming later. So, we're just gonna go back through it to get the secret warp room that this level gives. Now, this is probably going to take me like 50 tries. I'm awful at this jump. Yep, yep. See, first jump. Died. At least I can get these again. Oh, 
two, three. Nailed it. First try, of course. And there we are, Snowgo. Wait, are they all here? Road to Ruin, Totally Fly. Oh, you just can't access them. They're all here, though. In the original, only the ones that you unlocked appeared. See? Air Crash. You gotta get that to get the all the crates and Air Crash. I hate this level. Damn. Shit. Mulligan. Really? I'm gonna cut out all my deaths. You, you'll see a complete run when I actually do it, because there's no checkpoints. You can actually get three masks if you don't get hit through the whole thing. And I'm gonna try for these lives again. Still have not managed to get them. Eh, nope. I, I, I'm just never gonna get them. Ooh, a lot of times you'll spin that guy and that nitro will go off and it'll take your first mask. Then you won't get Super Saiyan Bandicoot. Woohoo! Oh, no. Damn, I want those fruit. Why? Why do I even care? God damn it. Come on. Come on, Coco. You can do this. For fuck's sake. Come on. Th this is embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it normally. There we go. Now we're moving. At least there's a lot of Wumpa fruit and lives. Super Coco. Not gonna die here again. Why did I stop there? Maximum gains me would be pissed. Damn, the second guy took my other mask. Hey, Red Gem. Now this can really suck, because if you die before getting a checkpoint, you have to do all of that again. I think the bonus level kind of counts as a checkpoint, because I think if I die after it, I just go back to after I've completed it. So I should be safe now. Get some extra lives, replace the ones I've lost. Though I actually ended with more lives than I started with, so I didn't actually lose any. What about another Super Coco? Stupid game. Damn, can this level just be over? I'm horrible at Crash Bandicoot, apparently. I am deeply sorry you had to view such a horrendous display. I'm gonna get that free life. I need it. I'm gonna need it later if I continue to do this badly. Ah, uh, I think those were both 10s. Just absolutely wipe them out. Thankfully, I am done and I got my red gem. Yeah, do your dance. You earned it. Sort of. Get on it. 
going up. Now we can go back to Snowbiz because now we have the red gem. Like the no death pads though, um, the gem pads are also fairly difficult, so don't be surprised if I die a few times once I get there. Bam! Got them all. None of that matters. I'm gonna die and use them anyways. I always do. Red gem pad! Let's go. Wow. It starts with a checkpoint. How generous. Ooh. And a lot of fruit. That, that basically tells you you're gonna die. Oh, see, hit one. Do the thing. Come on, hit the button. Fine. Jesus. Boom. Wait. I thought something would be there. Oh. Well. Holy crap. I should have died. Why? Why did, why did I go back to those? That gives us free life. Yep. Oh yeah, maximum gains. Always. Om nom 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 nom. Jeez. Generous with the lives. To hell with you! This looks like fun. And another checkpoint. Doing pretty well. These ones fall faster too. So you gotta be a little quicker with your button presses. Damn, it was like a three foot jump. Really? Is this what we're doing again? There are no words. Oh hey, I actually made the jump. Eh. Or not. Yay, I made it! And made it three feet. And over these, and in between these, and there we go. Watch for the icicles. I'm gonna make this jump. Watch out for the spiky bastard. Make it here, Nitro Destroyer. Do I have to go back? No, 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 the red gem pad spawned, like, right here. Ah, God damn it! I hate the 3D of this, these levels sometimes. Don't even care. God, checkpoint was right there. Remember what I said about dying and not having a checkpoint? 
Finally. Now I'm in the clear. Because even if I die, I don't have to redo the red gem pad area. Just gotta make sure I get all the crates as well. Three back there, got them all. Bonus. I mean, it's a good thing there's all these free lives, because, I mean, I die a lot in really stupid spots. I, I don't even know why I got that this time. I got more than last time. 91. It's like a free life in itself. But no actual free lives. Huh. Still not that level. <laughs> it's a habit. I always go backwards. Yay! More security! Yay, lost my security. Finally. Now we can just forget either of these last two levels ever happened, right? Doing the Coco Dance. Let's go. Bear it. Now this is the one, apparently, Coco can't ride the bear. She can only ride her tiger in three. Uh, you get to ride Polar. It, these, that, these controls feel terrible. Like, that box moved me. How did I not break it? There we go. Ooh. I really am not liking these controls. There's a couple of boxes in this level that are horrible to hit. Well, those ones are too. But those ones weren't the ones I was thinking of. The controls are awful! They, 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 they screwed the pooch on these controls, like, seriously. Got it. What the hell? Did you see that? I slid for like 20 feet after I got off the ice. This sucks. Damn. Okay, Vicarious Visions, you, you, you completely bone the controls for this. God damn it! You see, I, I did it again. He keeps sliding after I get off the ice. There. Damn! See? See? Stupid deaths. But I attribute this to terrible controls. Got it. Damn. I am not looking forward to the later polar levels. These controls are terrible. I used to like these levels, too. Oh man, some of these later levels are gonna be awful to do. What? What? Do I have to run at some point to get a speed boost to jump? Nope. Crash cute. What the hell is that for? Die without your fucking polar bear in a polar level? Damn. 
would have made it too. The, these controls, they're god awful. You see, you see, it's not even my fault at this point. I've lost like 10 level, 10 lives in this level. Christ, I made it. Eh, if I recall, those ones were pretty bad to get to. Oh, I guess the ones I'm thinking of aren't in this level. Jeez. I totally fly. No, wait. That's the Firefly one. Whatever the, the, the secret warp room polar level is, is gonna suck. I, I cannot express in words how bad those controls feel to the original. Like, they... And you saw me slide twice, like 20 feet after the ice. God. I hope that was a glitch and it's not going to be the same way after I change the level back. Give me Coco. Crash Crush. I think this one I'm being chased. Yep. Let's do it. Hell, after that damn polar level, this should be a cinch. More mines. Why do they even put the jump boxes in these levels? You can't get them. You will die if you try. Maybe that's why. Kill you if you try. Hey, a long bridge. Ooh. Ah, we're into the electric wires now. Ow! Stupid landmine. Oh, gotta go back. Oops. Okay, got it by time. Just two tries. It's not bad. Good amount of fruit. And under go. That's embarrassing. Shit! It's like right on my ass. Okay, that boost pad helped a bit. Oh, that was so close at one point. Boost! All of the boost. More boost. Ow. Stupid mine. Jeez. So much boost. And and then I die. Didn't die that time. I I I, I pushed O and X at the same time. And I I, I I did the leg drop to my death. That's that's three times in a row. That I have hit that mine. Jesus. It's like way back there. That's a long bridge too. This. This looks like familiar. Um. Can I jump off? Oh. Look at that. Free stuff. Not a box or anything. Just free stuff. Gotta get these. Tons of it. See, now I'll leg like, drop. Bing. That's a lot of fruit. One hundred and thirty four and two free lives. I don't mind. And back to the death. Crystal. Death crystal. Pretty much with cortex. Okay. 
Let's do it. More boost pads. There's boost pads everywhere. And again. And again. Oh, okay. More? Jump! I remembered that. Jeez. It's like 20 years back there. Oh. 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 Armor. Armored box. You gotta be way far ahead because you got a leg drop. Got it. No time for maxing games. games. Got the gem. That's, that's almost it, right? Yeah, the eel deal is the last one. Coco Dance. The uh, eel deal has the green gem in it. The hint said something about it being, like, hidden behind something. You'll, you'll see it. You can actually get everything in one run. Yeah, the eel... Just gonna say, the eels electrify the damn water. And if you're in it when they're electrifying it, you die. Can I kill these things? Um, well, I can't spin them, that's for sure. Oh, okay, I can jump on them. They were spiky, I wasn't sure. I guess the spikes are at the side. Now, I know that you go to the right here. That's a lot of nitro. And, yep, hidden wall. Jesus, Jesus, help. Gotcha. Um, I... Damn. Wow. Oh, I'm like kicking it. It disappeared. You gotta be expert jumping. Oh, there it is. Ching! Now to go back. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't gonna go well for me. That's okay. Got the gem still. I actually don't have to go back there. There were only nitros down there. There'll be a nitro destroyer in the main level. That'll make it easy. I don't have to go back down there. If I'm not mistaken, this is a pretty long level, though. Checkpoint next to a bonus. I wonder why. It seems kind of pointless. Yeah, there are some tricksy levels later where if you hit that first, you won't be able to get some of the boxes that are hidden under it. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Hey, double. Nice. Got them all. Maximum gains. Pretty sure you go to the left. Yeah. As I check it first. There's a couple spots in this level where you can miss boxes if you go the wrong way. And if you do the wrong thing. You'll, you'll see it. I remember part of this level. Just because it actually messed me up on my playing it before. That, that sucked. That was not cool. Right here. 
If you just run along those fruit, you will fall in the hole and you cannot get back up. You will have to redo the whole level. Or die. To get these boxes. There's a level with a lot of this later on. See, Nitro Destroyer. Three boxes left. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it! I made it. No pressure. I feel like I'm playing Pac-Man. Nom 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 nom, power pellets. Hey, that's it. Got them all. I was right. Oh, the way. Yes. All three one shot. Now, something I was actually going to check before. Can you go in the regular levels when the boss room appear? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, okay, Komodo Brothers. Gotta do it as Crash, apparently. Um, Komodo Joe and Komodo, uh, Douchebag. Um, I think it might be Mo or Douchebag. Either really fits. Unless they've changed it, this is one of the easier boss battles. Like, look at this. You can just stay away from him the whole time. As long as you don't get close to the center guy, if you do, he'll smack you with his sword. And now he throws him a bunch. It's like a half a circle or something. Same thing. He spins a little longer each time. Bam! Yeah, he just starts where his uh, brother hits him, I guess. I think they're brothers. Yeah, Komodo brothers. <laughs> he just throws him even longer this time. Now, he actually throws swords at you while you go. That... Those fly really, really slowly. Hey, look, I won. Easiest boss battle. Way easier than Ripperoo. Komodo no mo. Thank you for joining me for part two. Part three will be along shortly. I'm going to be taking a short break, though, because I'm going to be playing the Dissidia NT beta. Um, I'll post a couple videos of that as well. Selfie. And this has been another joy and death-filled uh, Trophy Adventures Let's Play. Join me for part three. And coffee. I like coffee. I need more coffee.